Hey folks, today we are coming once again from my kitchen, and today we are taking a look at Mujinbein number D7 Fang Tiger. Now, Fang Tiger is an upgrade slash remold of the original Air Leon, and here is the Mujinbein itself. Powder blue, white, and black. Very nice looking Mujinbein. Very classic uh, brick cube shape. As you can see, the head sculpt is really kind of cool. It's got a, I don't know, I think that might be an A on the side of its head, and then his head is molded underneath a lion's face, kind of like uh, Voltron a little bit, except this guy's a little more interesting than Voltron. Okay, well, maybe not that interesting, but he is cool. As you can see, he comes with all these components. Now, I have created its own little base mode here, and this is just my own little creation of just putting all the pieces together. The This face piece, or this piece right here, does not really fit very well to anything, so I just came up with this just to hold this piece, and a little base mode works fine. Now, everything does detach, and we do wind up with two legs, this center piece, or four legs, a centerpiece, these two pieces, and the piece that would not combine. Now, he does have a couple of different modes. He's got a winged lion mode, a jet mode, and then there's always the, hey, we I fudged around with the other pieces to make a mode mode. So let's go ahead and get into the, uh, let's start with the lion mode. To turn him into the lion, first we're going to fold up his arms in front, fold his head, and fold his legs up behind him to make a cube. And then what we're going to do is take the cube mode here and just make sure it's situated correctly, and I believe this is the correct way, and then just start adding parts. So we'll start off with his tail, taking the nose cone section and putting that on the back, take the lion face section, fold the lion face up, and attach that to the front, take the legs and fold them, and then attach them, do the same thing with the other leg, fold that so that the paw is facing the right way, and attach it. And take the big rear legs and attach them to the end of the unit. Now, you can attach his legs to the side, like that, or you can attach it to the far back point, like that. Doesn't matter, either way works. I prefer to just put the legs that far back. That gives him a much wider stance. Last but not least, we'll take these pieces and attach them to the top. And there we go. Fang Tiger is very cool. I love the look of him. Unfortunately, he looks a little bit too much like Air Lion for my taste, but it works. It's a nice powder blue lion, and I do like him a lot. I really do. I just wish he didn't look so much like Air Lion or Air Leon, or however you want to call them. But overall, the beast mode is pretty cool. Returning Fang Tiger to his robot mode, now we're going to take a look at his jet mode. In the jet mode, fold the head up, fold the arms up. That's all we're going to do for the Mujin Bind core. Then we'll take the jet front and attach that to the top of what were his shoulders. Take the lion top, fold the lion up, and attach that to the bottom of the legs, take the larger leg pieces and have the paws pointing out and forward, and attach that to the back of his feet, take the front paws, fold them so that they're pointing straight forward, and then attach them to the top of the rear wings, and then last but not least, Take the wings, there were tiger wings, and unfold them. So we'll do that again over with this one. And these guys will snap to the very into the very front of the plane. So they snap together there and snap together there. And there we go. I really dig this jet mode. It's a much sleeker, much more aerodynamic, and much fiercer looking plane mode than what we got with Airline. Now even though I like this a lot, you might notice that the paws here, or the legs, aren't normally, aren't supposed to be hooked up up here. Now, according to the directions, they are supposed to be attached here. But if you go back and watch my Air Lion video, 
they actually peg into the sides, which I'll show you right now. And I realize why they didn't do this for this mode, because there is a clearance issue with the front paws and these wing extra pieces. So there is an even sleeker version, and I swear this reminds me of something from Ultraman. I swear this is a, a jet in Ultraman. So he also has some fold-out landing gears, so you could just put him on the ground and roll him around. Whee! Now, it doesn't really matter where you put these paws. I like them here, but I also like them put up here. So it doesn't really matter where you put them. It, it's all down to personal preference. Finally, we're going to take a look at what I like to call the silly mode. So we will attach the larger legs to the bottom of his feet. There we go, like that. And then we will take the cockpit and flip out this extra connector piece, and that will get pegged in on his back, like that. Then I like to fold these sections down. This will become a shield. So just peg it into his shoulder like that. These wing pieces will become, I guess you could say, weapons on his one arm. So you could just do that, and then fiddle around and put it on like that. You know, something like that. Or, or you could take that off, actually attach it to the other arm, like that. And you could peg this guy onto his legs. So he's got lion legs, like that. And then the paws, or forearms, could be used as, like, cannons or something over his shoulder, like that. So there we have what I like to call the silly mode. Yeah, that is supremely silly. Like with all Moochin' Bind, there is only so many things you can do with each figure, though they are a lot of fun. And once you get a whole bunch of them together, you could just start combining willy-nilly, and things just get crazy. I really do like these guys. They are a lot of fun and definitely worth getting in your collection if you can find them. They are very difficult to find. Now, at the time of this recording, I did come across a whole bunch of them, Thanks to a good friend named Max, who lives in my area. We traded up a bunch of figures, and I ended up with a bunch of Mugen buying. So expect more reviews on those coming soon. Overall, Air, uh, Fang Tiger is fun, but if you've got Air Lion or the blue version of Air Lion, those are guys are just as good as this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.